Welcome to this video on the name box in Microsoft Excel. So did you know you can use the name box to really quickly select multiple cells, rows and columns so that you can do functionality with them, you can format them, you can do all sorts of things with them really quickly just by using the name box. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that you can do really easy with this name box here and a few tips and tricks. So the name box is in the top left hand corner just underneath file and it will show you whatever cell you are clicked on. So I've just clicked on A1 and you can see A1 is there. Now just a top tip on this name box, you can make it bigger or smaller so it works for you. And you can see those three dots to the right hand side. If you hover over there, you get some arrows and you can make it bigger or smaller. Really nice and really easy to work with. So one of the things that most people will know how to do with a name box is to create named ranges so that I can give a selection of cells a different name so that I can use that in functions and I can go and easily navigate to that with the name box or in things like the navigation pane and stuff like that. So to create a named range, I'm just going to select the cells. So let's just select some of the cells on this table. Now at the moment it's just coming up with D15 because that's where I initially clicked on it. So what I need to do to create this named range is just to click on that name box. And then I'm just going to type in the name that I want to call this. So I'm just going to call this people data. Now just be aware when I do this, there's no space. I've not put a space in that named range because it doesn't accept those. And if you try and put a space in, which is really easy to forget, then it's just going to give you an error and you'll need to do it again. So just try and be aware and remember there's no spaces. It doesn't like spaces when you're creating a named range. And once you put that name in, press enter and that will lock it in place. So you can use that now within functions and it will know exactly which cells you're talking about. And you can navigate to that information as well using the named box. So you'll see at the moment it's showing people data, but if there's a drop down arrow there and you select it, you can see any other tables or any other named ranges that you have within your Excel workbook. And you can easily navigate to them using this process. So let's just click away and then go to that name box, click on the drop down, go to my people data and you can see immediately those cells are selected. So really nice, really easy to work with. What I can also do really simply is just use the name box to go to a specific cell. So if I go and click on that name box and type in D5 and press enter, it's going to automatically select that cell for me. So I can go and I can see the data within it. I can go and make any changes to it formatting or whatever I want to. It's a really quick way to just navigate to a specific cell within your Excel document. You can also select a range of cells, either rows or columns, really, really easily within Microsoft Excel using the name box. So let's just go to the top and select the first row. I need to do one colon one and press enter and you can see I've selected that full row because it knows I want one and I'm stopping with just one so it knows exactly where I want to be. If I want multiple rows I can do one colon four to select the first four rows obviously press enter as soon as you put that information in and if I just show you it works the same with columns so let's do a colon a if you want to do that and then let's do a colon e. So a nice big selection there. Nice and easy to work with. You can also select multiple data points. If I wanted to select this whole table of data that I've got going on, I could do that really easy as well. Because I just need to start with the top left and finish with the bottom right cell. So I want to start with a one colon. And the bottom right is G15. So let's put G15 in there. Press enter and it's selected my whole table. So you can use the name box to do that for you. There is other ways of selecting all of the data on the screen, but you might also work really well with that. And you will notice when I've selected that, that also has a named range behind it. It's called sales data. So I don't even have to do that. I've created another named range that I could just do use a drop down on the name box to do that. What you can also do is select cells not next to each other. 
So rather than putting that colon in, I can use a comma. So let's click away and select some random cells. Let's do a three comma D4. Press enter and you can see those two cells are selected. So now I can do anything with those two cells, formatting or anything that I might need to do. And it's counted down the bottom my two cells as well. So let's just do a few more examples of this. Let's do F4, comma, F7. And because these cells have numbers in them, it's also given me some of the quick analysis at the bottom you get. So I've got a sum there, a count, and an average. So you can select those and do formatting things with them, but you can also see those quick sums, those quick formulas at the bottom and you can work out some information from those cells that you've just selected. So they don't have to be right next to each other. Remember, if they are, you're going to use the colon to have that continuous selection. But if they are randomly around your, your spreadsheet, then you're going to use the comma in between, and you don't need to put a space there, and then you'll be able to select multiple ones. So some really great quick ways there you can use the name box to select different cells either grouped together or separate within your spreadsheet. And then obviously from that, because they're selected, you can then go ahead and change the formatting, change the functionality in there. And just remember as well, if you've got numbers or anything that pops up, you'll see the quick formulas at the bottom. So you can go ahead and take advantage of those. And remember those named ranges as well, which are really great. Once you've created them, they'll appear in the drop down. So you can go ahead then and use those to navigate really quickly to different parts of your spreadsheet. And even if you're in another different sheet, you can go and navigate quickly using that name box. And the navigation pane will work really well with that as well. So once to have a play around with, make sure you're getting the most out of that name box. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.